Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Another Fat Guy Cooks. I'm your fat guy, Andy Baker, and today we are going to be making fish tacos from the Pine Barren Stratagem, written by Ken Harris. I got a copy of it right here, look. Let's go. Rockfish sat at the small desk in his hotel room and sipped coffee. His laptop had pinpointed the address for McGee Computer Repair and refurbished sales on only his third try. He was getting better at this Google stuff. The business in question, coincidentally, had also been a Facebook market page. Its visuals were better and provided more permanent information than his, but Rockfish was always a firm believer in coincidence. According to the ad, the open sign on the door had been flipped a few hours ago and it wouldn't close until 5 p.m. Rockfish gathered his things and walked down to his car. He put the address into his GPS and looked at the display for a place close by to eat beforehand. He burped the last of his fish tacos a few minutes past 2 p.m. and drove past the shop to give himself the lay of the land. I mean, it's tenuous, right? He mentions fish tacos about three times. Well, he mentions tacos about three times in the book from what I've gathered from searching it and not reading it. Um... I'm reading it, I'm de definitely. When's the audiobook coming out? So yeah, I thought we'd do like a link to his to Ken's book, The Pine Barren Stratagem, out soon, I think, January the 22nd, maybe, something like that. But you can pre-order it, so you should. Um, so yeah, fish tacos, burping fish tacos, we're gonna make fish tacos, and then we're gonna burp fish tacos. I've decided to make my own recipe, I've been fucking around with it all week, so, Let's see if uh, let's see if it works. Let's see if you like it. Fish tacos, bitches. Let's go. <coughs> right. So the main ingredient in fish tacos, believe it or not, is fish. So we ain't going fancy. I've just got some nice white fish frozen fillets. I think they are responsibly sourced. I don't even know what type of fish it is. It's just white fish. I did look for blackfish, apparently not that diverse in the fish kingdom. We also got some little scrimps, some little prawns. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to use our good old ninja foodie and we're going to put our little white fish on our little tray and we're going to season them up. So we're going to do a little bit of hot paprika. We're going to do some hot chilli powder. Again, I'm not going to go crazy. Just a bit. And we're going to smash it with some black pepper. Boom. Right, and then... What did I just knock in there? Avocado. Slightly warm and soapy avocado. Check. And then I'm going to get a big old nug of butter. Split that in two. And both of these are going to get spread that over a little bit. Yeah. Lovely. And then we're going to bang that in our air fryer. bang it in our air fryer, which we didn't clean before we did this, which smells, oh no, come, okay, let's get the whole thing out, okay, come, right, no, 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 this way, is it, it, which way have I done it, there, okay, man, this is complicated, right, ah, this is upside down, that's why, hold please, let's go this way now, then this goes on here. Here we go. And that goes on there. <laughs> oh no, my butter patty. On there, right. And then this drops in here. Perfect. Easy! And then we're going to bang that on for, I don't know, 10, 
20 minutes. We'll see. We'll keep checking on it. I know that the, uh, the bit that I read out of that book, not the most exciting bit, probably not the best bit to promote the book with, but it was the bit that had fish tacos in it. So that's what we're going with. Right. We're going to make a selection of things to put on top of our fish tacos to make them all fish taco-y. Yeah? First, one soapy avocado. Okay, half an avocado. Yeah. And we're going to chop him up. Nice and fine. And then we're going to take that and we're just going to dump it in our bowl. Going to get some little cherry tomatoes. Nice little sweet cherry tomatoes. Pop those in there. Going to get nice big red cabbage. Chop that up, nice and small and fine. Way more than we need. Some fresh coriander slash cilantro. If this shit tastes horrible to you because you've got that genetic abnormality that makes it taste like soap, then don't fucking use it, dumbass. Half an onion. Look how nice our little colourful bowl is looking. Isn't that sexy? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at all the cameras. Shall I talk to this camera for a bit? I'll talk to you for a bit. Right, and the other thing, this is something that I've tried out, right? Because a lot of fish taco recipes have weird stuff in them, like mangoes and shit. And I thought, fuck it, I'll try a few different things. You know what's really good in fish tacos? A bit of pineapple. So we're also going to chop up a bit of pineapple. A bit of pineapple. Did you know, and did you know, that pineapple has an enzyme in it that literally eats your tongue? And that's why when you eat pineapple, you get a bit of a tingly, uh, a tingly mouth. So, you know, pineapple, basically poison. And we want a couple of limes, just get them ready, stick them down the middle. One, two, and they can hang out in there too. I'm just massaging my, uh, my frozen scrimps to unfrozen them. This is how the Inuits did it. You just, you just finger them scrimps until they're not frozen anymore using your natural body heat. The Inuits also put their old people out in the snow to die when they became too much of a burden. Not the worst idea. Ken. <laughs> not long now, buddy. Right, so we're going to make some nice sauce for our fish tacos. We're going to get some sour cream. Yeah. Okay. Some mayonnaise. And some sriracha. Sriracha to flavour, you know. I've got the hot stuff the proper stuff. Use what you want. I'm not your dad. All right, mm, use the hand. Kind of like a spicy Thousand Island dressing. Ooh, that's just happened. Right, uh, I know this now. The camera just fucking dies at 30 minutes. I have to start it again. Now we know. That can go to one side for now. Um, we're also uh, gonna use some cheese. Now, 
usually you would use some Mexican cheese, like some Oaxaca or something like that. I can't find it anywhere, so we're going to use some Iberico, which is from Spain. And Spain is basically just the same as Mexico. Fight me. Oh, did we lose a knuckle? Yep. <laughs> Man. I don't think I've ever grated anything in my life and not ended with like a piece of me being in with it. So think about that every time you've eaten my food. Yup. Let's try this. What we got? Mmm. Lovely. You know what? It's hot, but... Should we throw a little bit of our... Uh, Throw a little bit of that ultra death sauce in there and just spice it up a little bit more. There we go, that's probably way too much. But I do like a spicy fish pasta. Let's see if we ruined it. Whew. Nope, still good. Oh fuck, hot though. Okay. Oh. oh yeah. I forget. Uh, do we need more green or do we need more red? I think we need more red. So we're just gonna get a little red. I wanna say it's like a Fresno. No. I think it might just be a jalapeno. I don't know. Okay. So we have ordered from uh, Amazon some corn tortillas, some proper corn tortillas, not like the corn tortillas that you can buy in the supermarkets. Because if you check them and actually check the actual fucking recipe and the ingredients, they're like 20% corn and 80% like flour and wheat. They're just flour tacos that are a bit yellow, right? These are proper corn tacos. You can tell because if you try and bend them, they just break. Yeah, that's how you know they're good. But like like a penis. You try and bend it, just breaks. Tacos and penises. Basically the same thing. Right. Are you done? Let's see if you're done. You done? Oh you're done. You are so done. Right. Come here, fish. Okay, come on. Oh, there's a good little fish. Good little fish. Right. Let's let the fish cool down a little bit. Come on. Yeah. Hot, 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 hot. Right, so we're just going to break our fish up. We're not going to like cut it. We're just going to sort of flake it apart a bit. We're not really going crazy with the tortillas. We are just warming them through. It also makes them a bit more pliable so they don't break apart. But as you can see, like very hard and tough. Proper, tor proper corn tortilla. So, just going to put that in there. We have one. Okay, while the other one's cooking, we're going to start building. So. Obviously, first things first, we want some fish. Beautiful. And then we start with our base of onion. Don't want to go too crazy on any one of these things. A little bit of avocado, a little bit of red cabbage, a little bit of pineapple, a little bit of tomato, and a little bit of cilantro. And a few little bits of chilli, why not? A few little bits of red chilli. Perfect. We got our Iberico cheese. And we give a little sprinkle sprinkle. A little sprinkle sprinkle! My voice just broke. A little sprinkle sprinkle of Iberico. 
do we pour? We do a nice drizzle. Of our sauce and then throw a few little scrimpy scrimps on top finish it off oh my god look at those and then we're done chaps I think we should try these, right? So, I'm gonna take it. We're gonna fold it over, and we're gonna. Mm. <laughs> Honestly, the pineapple really. Oh, you know what I forgot? Lime. I wondered why. The acid. Dumbass. Can't believe I forgot the lime. What a pillar. Try again. Come back. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. Right. That was amazing. I mean, my, ha my mouth is on fire. But that was so fucking good. Make them at home. Send me pictures. Try your own riff on it. See what happens. Another fat guy's just cooked. Thanks for sending me the book, Ken, and the amazing little FBI challenge coin thing, which is cool as fuck. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Please pre-order Ken's book. That was fish tacos. And I'm fucking out of here. Peace. Another fat guy cooked.